Hello, our lesson today how to configure Excel BBX S200. First, we want to know the default IP of BBX. Our default IP of BBX 192.168.5.150. Now we need to know how to configure our PC to be at the same range of BBX. First, go to network. Right click properties, change adapter setting, and go to Ethernet. Right click properties, Internet protocol version 4, TCP IP, IP version 4 properties. Here we can put any, any IP of the range 5, 192.168.5, anything like 20 and please ok close now open internet explorer or google chrome or firefox any browser you have and 192.168.5.150 it is our default bbx The default username and password. Default username is admin. Password is external. And press login. Here it is security message. You should change the password because it is very easy. It's external. Okay. Now first we need to uh, create new extensions for BBX. There is two types of extension. First is a VoIP extension and FXS extension. FXS extension is mean for analog extension to connect your fax, to connect your uh, analog uh, telephone. VoIP extension it is a SIP extension. It is required to connect IP phones. It support SIP protocol. Here you can see it is example extension, so you can remove all this extension by remove or delete and apply change. We need to create, for example, five extensions, so you can press add bulk extension. Bulk extension you can see here five or ten or fifteen or twenty as you like. For example, we'll create five extension starting from 300 it is a default you can change it to 400 if like uh, 404 401 403 it is according to you create extension apply changes you can see here extension start from 400 to 404 it is five extension we created any zip clients is required SIP extension and password and BBX IP. So if you need to register this extension to your IP phone or soft phone, so it requires three things. Extension number, password for extension and BBX IP. Where I can find the password, you can go to edit and here it is the password. You can change it to any password, but it's recommended to make a password more complicated to avoid any hack or attack. So first extension, for example, 400. Second password. Third, BBX IP. And you can find it is BBX IP 192.168.5.150. So now your extension is ready to register to any IP phone or soft phone. Now we will test any extension to register to any soft phone. For example, we have this soft phone open and go to configuration. Address here, it is BBXIB. 
our BBX ID 192.168.5.150 login it is username it is for example 400 and password for extension go to edit and copy the password paste here and ok now it is online you can see online 400 how to check it is ready online or not at BBX good status extension status you can see here it is blue gray it is mean offline or unavailable and blue it is mean online and you can see here uh, the sample red is busy or ringing it is a hold it is a free it is unavailable if you register another extension, for example, 401, you can call both of extension normally. There's no problem. The second, now, second step. How to configure outbound routes. So now I have extension. This extension can call from extension to extension without any problem. But now, how to make outbound calls? What I mean about calls? About calls, if I need to call any mobile number or landline outside of my BBX. So go to out, uh, outbound route. For, ex uh, for example, here you can see by default 9, you can change it as you like. Now, for example, if I need to call any customer mobile. So here you can press 9 first and dot it is mean 9 and strip 1 strip 1 is mean remove 9 and you can choose here which extension you want to make this route or this call maybe I have four extension one of them, I, uh, I, I'm not allowed to let him to call any, uh, any landline or mobile, so you cannot select it. So I can select this four extension to call any mobile or landline and remove 404, for example, it is not allowed. Here I have two BSTN lines, two landline, so I can select one or two or both and make save apply changes now if I want to call any landline or mobile through my BBX so I can press 9 and any mobile or landline for example and dial in this case it will go through BSTN line or landline second step now I have extensions and make outbound route so now if anybody call my landline number what will happen so it should make inbound route inbound route is mean incoming call when incoming call to my landline which destination will ring so it need route here go to inbound route there is a default or sample of incoming route. I can go to edit. The ID number is MPT. It's mean any incoming call. So any incoming call to which trunk to BSTN1 or BSTN2 to my landline, to landline. Here the default to IVR. IVR it is a greeting message. It's mean a greeting message. If I need to change it, okay, no problem. I can go to extension. So if any, any incoming call, go to extension. 400, for example. I can change it to ring group. Ring group, it's mean ringing to many extensions at the same time. So you have many options for incoming calls. The symbol, uh, the symbol incoming call now to extension. So, if anybody call my landline, 
so it forward to extension 400 it ringing to extension 400 and make save now you know how to create new extension second how to make outbound route for out, uh, outbounding calls third how to make inbound route for incoming calls incoming calls we forward to any incoming call to extension specify extension so for example if anybody call my, my landline so my extension 400 it will be ring if I need to change the strategy for example to make like ring group ring group it's mean many extension ringing at the same time so we should make ring groups go to ring groups edit now which extension you want ringing at the same time so I can choose for example 400 and 403 if no answer if there is this ringing is still ringing and timeout in the call or hangout save apply change so I can go to inbound route edit and change the default which we made before to ring group now any inbound calls any incoming calls it will go to ring group ring group it's here which contains this ring group extension it contains extension 400 and 403 in this case two extension will ringing in the same time so you can change the strategy here ring all to for example sequentially it's mean round robin 400 it's ringing the first time and then 403 after 403 400 and so on the famous inbound route it is called IVR IVR it's meaning ring uh, it's meaning uh, messages IVR messages if anybody call my landline uh, which fix it at my BBX they can hear a message greeting message for example welcome to my company for sales press 1 for support press 2 for 0 uh, for help is zero how to configure IVR we can go to IVR and edit here prompt prompt is a very important because it is a message which will run we can upload or import from here we can upload the messages prefer to the message it will be do gsm extension or dot wave and upload go to ivr go to edit here prompt it is the file which is the file which file you, you need to run for example if i need to run sales message support message greeting message any message so you can choose from here if you need to upload a new message or a new file you can go to custom prompt then upload prompt so you can choose file import any file you need go to again to IVR edit repeat count it is how many times IVR will continuous or will repeat so for example if i need to run message welcome to my company for sales press one for support press two if there is any action so it will repeat again how many it will repeat three times you can make it one time or more but it is a minimum one time 
here key it is the action for example if run a message for sales press one so one here it will go to action for example extension extension 400 it is a sales for support press 2 so 2 here go to support section which for example 401 for marketing press 3 suppose marketing is 402 or ring group or extension or any action you want or press 0 for help so you can go to 0 and go to for example to operator if timeout so if no any action as a customer don't press any key you can make action like go to operator or hang hang out hang up or anything you want if anybody dial or press invalid number like uh, for example one five so it is uh, invalid number so you can hang up or you can go to operator or any other action it is a flexible configuration so press save and apply changes now go to inbound route it is for incoming calls edit so you can here choose IVR so first you can go to extension for simple solution second you can go to ring group if you not need any run message if you need to run a message for greeting message so you should make IVR system IVR configuration as we discussed before so you can here choose IVR and choose which IVR you want to run here we created only one message so if, if you have many IVR it will be listed here so you can choose which messages you want to run office hours non office hours office hours if my hours of office from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. so it will run message one after five I can run a different message for example first message of office hours welcome to my company for sales press one for support press two for marketing press three or any other greeting after our office hours it will run our offices is closed now you can leave your message or call uh, uh, call later of any other messages so now we have two hours two office hours first hours it is office hours and second non office hours and we can go to save apply changes 